Thailand. <laughs> yeah, Thailand. Why go? I think the picture already speaks for itself. Um, yeah, I, I really want to go there. Um, also, most teachers in Thailand, they work at government schools or in private language academies. Um, most positions are also found in the bigger cities, as it usually is, in Bangkok, in uh, Chiang Mai in, in the north, or in Phuket in the south. And the salaries in Thailand usually range between 800 to 1,000 US dollars per month. Again, consider the low cost of living in Thailand compared to the West, and your salary will actually go a long way. The requirements for teachers coming to Thailand is typically having a um, four-year degree in any subject. Again, it doesn't have to be in English, it doesn't have to be in education, etc. And they usually want a TEFL training course of at least 100 hours. So our 120-hour course is the best pick for that. COVID info, so they either have a 10 or 14 day quarantine. So I think it was 14 before and now they turn it down to 10 or they're thinking about turning it down to 10 or it depends on the person. I'm not quite sure, so uh, check that out. And the quarantine costs are not always free. So usually you would have to pay for it. Uh, you would have to quarantine and yeah, cover the costs or you can work out a deal with your school and your employer. <laughs> oh, Irma, cool. Thailand is my first pick. Awesome, yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. There's a lot of opportunities there. Um, we at ITTT, we get a lot of job offers for Thailand. You can check our job section. Um, there's a lot of Thailand offers. Cool. All right, then Kenny asks my friend, owns oh has Indian nationality they planning to move to Singapore he's looking for a teacher job in Singapore what kind of degree is required and laws okay um I don't have Singapore in this presentation right now but um I actually heard from somebody from Singapore that they um are hiring but it is harder to get a work visa in Singapore right now so I'm not quite sure I would recommend that your friend reaches out to the uh, local um, embassy or consulate of Singapore to make sure he gets the most up-to-date information. Because from what I've heard, it is getting harder and the country is pretty much still isolated. I don't think anybody can really leave and enter at the moment. And like I said, it's harder to get this uh, work visa right now in Singapore. Okay, Chibi says, Thailand can allow associates too. Okay, cool. My friend had an associate in English. She's been teaching there for over three years. Okay, so maybe because she had an associate in English, because the bachelor's degree is in any subject. So perhaps it's because she had an associate's degree, but it was specifically in English. And it also probably depends on where it is. So if it's um, I don't know if it's like one of those big cities, Bangkok, Chiang Mai, or Phuket, or if it's like some other maybe smaller town, then probably they would maybe uh, tune their requirements down a bit. I'm not quite sure. That's interesting. That's great to know. Cool. Okay. Sorry, just looking at the comments. There's a couple more about Thailand. Okay. All right. So does Thailand only accept a degree connected to teaching? No. So you can have a, a degree in any subject, a four-year degree in any subject. But um, like Chibi just said that her friend is teaching in Thailand and she has an associate's degree. So that's two years. But that associate's degree was in English. So what I'm thinking is that she, her friend got the job because she has an associate's in English but the four-year bachelor's degree can be in any subject. It doesn't have to be English or education or teaching. So I hope that answers the question. Keshab asks, do all countries need TEFL training? So there are a lot of countries where, it's, where a TEFL certificate is not a requirement, um, but it is sort of getting to a level where a TEFL certificate is becoming a standard. 
and everyone who doesn't have one will stand out or you know lack something. So we always definitely recommend getting a TEFL. And most of my friends who are teachers abroad, they have a TEFL or they started out teaching and then you know the laws changed or the uh, <clears throat> the re regulations, environment um, just changed and then they got a TEFL certificate later. Um, so yeah. Okay. Antonio asks, hi, I've just arrived here. Hi, thanks for joining. Is it mandatory to have a college degree to teach as a TEFL? So in many countries, it is required to have a four-year degree to teach. Yes, in many countries. But there are still countries um, that where it's not a requirement. And for that, I recommend um, checking out our FAQ page because there is a list of countries, and I'm pasting the link right now into the comment box. You can check it out, tafelcourse.net slash FAQ. And there you'll find information about which countries um, hire teachers without a degree, because it is also possible. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.